All right, so today I'm gonna to be installing and setting up this computer that I gave as a gift to my friend over here. And it's his very first computer. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna install Linux Mint, the perfect option. And what is his big goal in life? Well, his biggest goal in life is to play what? That's right, Minecraft. Minecraft is the ultimate goal of all of our hard work in many hours. Putting core boot, everything is all leading up to this one final moment of Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and install Linux Mint because it is a great option for first time uh, Linux users. So if you're coming from Windows, we're going to go ahead and hit start Linux Mint in case you want to know what I'm doing here. Trying to keep his attention. I mean, he's always talking Minecraft. I've never played it, but I'll play against you sometimes. So we have an X230 here, that's what we got. Now this is loading up the Linux installer. And once it finishes loading that up on this X230, so this is a classic ThinkPad X230, uh, it was given as a gift. And now I've added an SSD for him. So he has a storage device that's gonna be quick quicker than the hard drive it came with. And it's loading everything up, as you can see, all of these different kernel modules, and the installer is going to load up for us. And we're gonna get through this process of installing Linux Mint, then we'll move on to some other stuff. We gotta upgrade everything. And uh, this is such a great computer. While, while it's loading, it's also got a hardware kill switch here. So if you like privacy, you may like to know that an X230 is one of the models that actually comes with a hardware kill switch. We're going to leave it on the on, so the green is on, that way we can use wireless to upgrade anything we need to upgrade while we're doing this. So it's loading up. Okay, we have our interface, everything's working great. We have our Wi-Fi and everything, but we'll probably do that later just so I don't have to give away all the Wi-Fi networks in the area. But let's go ahead and double click install. So if you want to, all you have to do is burn a USB stick, whatever kind of computer you have, as long as it is a Windows based 64 uh, bit computer, Windows based type computer, you can install something like Linux Mint or another option. So that's what we're doing today. Just pretty straightforward covering some of the process. I had, haven't done a video showing the installation of Linux Mint. So let's show just how easy it can become. All right there. You want to be in the film, huh? All right. <laughs> All right. So don't worry. You're not, your face is not on camera, but your hand was there. Okay. So next thing I'm teaching him about privacy, the importance of privacy while we're at it. And he's going to have the only computer without back doors. All his friends and family are going to have back doors in their computer, but not him. He's going to have a nice little computer here. Okay. We're choosing our language now. If you want to see, do you want to choose? You want to, remember you're learning Spanish. Maybe I should make everything Spanish for you. No. Yeah. That's probably not the right. It's probably not going to help you learn how to use a computer if you do both at the same time. Oh, so I got to connect to a Wi-Fi network, so I will have to edit this video. All right, we're going to pick your username, and you can make it anything you want. So it can be... Now we're going to do this. This says install multimedia codecs. That's going to allow you to play more types of video and media on the internet. So you definitely want that. Yes, yes, yes. He's excited. I'll show his excited troll face. Yes, that's a great troll face. I want to put it on camera because it's just such a good one. All right, we're going to make this encrypted. You know what that means? That means all your files are going to be securely encrypted, meaning that if someone stole your computer, you don't have to worry. We will do uh, one of these, encrypt to a Linux volume. All right, here, we're going to do that. So now what we're going to have to do at this point is we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to set those passwords. Okay, it says encrypt. So making sure if you have a computer that is in a shared space, you'll definitely want to encrypt it. That way when you power it off, none of your files can be accessed by others. So for instance, if you leave the office or you go on lunch, if you're taking your computer to work, if you have it powered off, all those files will be securely encrypted. So you won't have to worry about anyone having access to them. 
All right, let's choose a security key. I'll make something very simple for you, and then we can change it later to something only you know, all right? So we'll start off with, hmm, Minecraft? Minecraft one, two, three. Minecraft one, two, three with capitalized, I'll show you. You have to capitalize the Minecraft. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to make this easy for you. Minecraft not capitalized. We will uh, we'll just make it all lowercase for for easeability. All right, there we have it. Now, what we need to do now, if you need extra security precautions, you would want to overwrite empty disk space. We're not going to do that. We don't really have those kinds of concerns. But if you are more concerned about forensics things and like that, you will want to overwrite that empty space. All right, we want to save time. We're not doing that. So now we are installing it and we will change that encryption passphrase later on. So now it's going to go through the process of unloading all of the files from this USB stick right here and it's going to install it right onto our fast SSD that is installed into the side of the laptop. At this point we need to choose our time zone. Well at this point in time we are staying in New York so we will pick that because we are in New York after all. Okay, now what should we, uh, what should we call your computer name? What should it be called? Oh gosh, that's a good one. That's so original. All right, and your, do you want to put your name or nickname? Do you have a nickname? Okay, we'll go with that. We'll do that. Okay, so that's going to be your login name. I'm going to do a simple password, ABC123. And it says it's a fair password. It's actually a horrible password, but you know what? We're just going to do it anyway. And then we're also going to encrypt your home folder because we're advanced like that. Okay, now we'll go ahead and click continue. And there we have it. We are starting. It is copying everything. You're getting closer to having your computer. This is his first computer. He is a youngin, as you can tell by the hand size. And since you can't see anything else, he is a little guy. So he's going to be t learning to type. I'm going to put some typing applications, so I might come up with a recommendation for that. We may play. Uh, there's different games we can get to help him learn to type so he gets those good habits early. And in the long run, that'll really help him out no matter what he's trying to do. So now it's installing Linux Mint and we'll be back in a little while. Let's go ahead and unlock it. So why don't you type Minecraft123, I just shared your password with the world. M, I, it's up there. You want me to type it for you? Yeah. You typed it a couple times so you can't hold it in. Okay, see, set up successfully, meaning it has been unlocked for you. Alrighty, so I'm just turning it to the camera here. Now, it's loading, it takes a little time because it's got to decrypt the disk. Okay, that was quick. Now your password for your username is going to be ABC123. You want to type it or you want me to type it? A, B, C, okay. A, B, C, one, two, three. There it is, you now have your own computer. And look at that, you have a welcome to Linux Mint message. It even has documentation, you can read all about it, new features, help. You got chat rooms for Mint, yeah. You can do that stuff. So let's go ahead and get out of that. Let's go ahead and see what kind of games we got here. You wanna do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just find out where is that software. So here's where you're going to find programs you want to install. Software Manager. I'll put it on your desktop so you can find it easier. But here's what it's doing. It is loading all of the different programs you can get. One moment. Yep. 
Yes, you can read. Very good. Of course, I can read. He's learning to read. He's learning a new language. And uh, but really, his his aspiration in life is being on Minecraft all Minecraft. the time, Every twenty four hours a day. He wants to live there. He's gonna build me a, a house, though. He told me, which is pretty nice. So look at this. We have all these different programs we can look at. And here's the game. So you want to look games, at the games? games, games what games. about graphics or something you can no, learn? No, games. All right. This game life. The game life. <gasps> Do you want to play card, solitaire? Look at all these games. Whoa. So Linux Mint comes with a variety of different games. Ah, Tux Type. We're going to install that for you. So and the reason we're going to install that, this is going to teach you how to type. And it's actually a game that helps you learn. So anyone who's interested has a kid that wants to learn... Uh, how to type, you go ahead and just click install and then click go ahead and then we have to type in the super secret password, which we'll set for you later again. Mm -hmm. That's better. Okay, so that's what it's doing. It is installing, see where it says right up at the top you'll see what it's up to, you can see the game has actually been well reviewed, 30 reviews down here. So Linux Mint provides you a great, easy to use interface, point and click. You you don't have to use the command line unless you want to. Command and that's the an, block. Yes, that's right. And so you don't have to use commands if you don't want to. You can use all mouse if you want. So that's something that can be great for people who are coming from Windows and don't want to rush into the command line and maybe want to learn it as they go, this gives you the option not to. So we can look through, we can see the different reviews here. So there's several reviews. Okay, and I can launch it. Let's go ahead and launch it just for a second. I'm only going to open it for a second. But that's pretty cool. So here's a game that can teach you how to type. So you could do first lesson. You'll learn where the key is. We're not going to do this long. I'm just showing you. Oh, space. Press space, which is this. I don't even know Hit what it. space is. Try it. Oh, very good. Now, they want to show you where the A key is. To start practicing, hit the P. Okay. Now, you're going to hit A. Space. A, A, A. Space, A, A, A. Space, A, A, A. Space. See, it's showing you what they want you to type. We're going to get out of here just because we don't need to play it. And I don't want to bore anyone watching this video. So we'll hit quit. Okay. Let's take a look at some other games. So today's video is just kind of going through what I'm doing to set this up. We're going to actually install Minecraft too. Yeah. But for the moment, diamond, we're just going to be... Diamond? Do you yeah. know what this is? No. Uh, it looks see. cool though, doesn't it? Yeah. Here's a first person shooter. That mm. means you have a, a blaster. Okay. And you've seen this game. Look at that. Oh yeah, I like this game. I've seen Should it. I install play it? it. Okay, yeah, we'll install, install it. it. We'll install that. Maybe uh, a little out of your age range, but we'll no. we'll we'll have to set some parental <laughs> controls for you. <laughs> Flight of the Amazon. So there's block, so many block. games. That's another block. Nice thing about Linux Mint, it is a it comes well, lightweight. Block. Block. You know exactly what it is. We've played this many times. I think I'm going to do a video yeah, at some I point exactly on this. Know what this is. This is a really cool one. I'm glad you mm. saw that. This is one of my favorites to play. So if you like first person shooters, you want a Linux game that you can have some fun with, this one's a really cool project Download and it. it's still kind of in the works and people are still working on it so definitely worth checking out um yeah, it's a nice it. free game we're gonna install all this stuff ziggy uh but for the moment we're just kind of browsing through them so these are all different games Whoa, so we'll go through and install some later i don't want to bore people on each individual install but we're see these are all games that come with linux mint Whoa. that you can install without having to find it but we could also open up the browser and download. What should we download? Oh, here's another cool game. Open Arena. 
We'll, we'll definitely check that out too. Okay, so Minecraft for Linux. So yes. this is kind of a casual yes. screen, casual uh, stream download video today. So we need to download it for Linux though. Now what do we do again to download Whoa, it for Linux? Where is it? Debian based. So this Aww. is a Debian based. This is what you want, silly. Yeah, I know. Why? Why did you say all? Oh. This is what exactly Minecraft what you want. Minecraft Dungeons. Well, isn't that what this is? So to it's install it.